Getting a little lesson in spring planting at today's Fox 5 field trip brought to you by Maryfield Garden Center. Our Taylor Grinda, she's down in Fairfax out at the center to learn how to get that green thumb ready in time for peak spring. Good morning, Taylor. Gorgeous view so far. <laughs> Uh, it's truly incredible, right? We have all the bright colors out here, and it's finally feeling like spring. Mind you, this weekend weather is going to be great for any uh, kind of spring planting you want to get done in your garden. So I want to introduce you to, right now, Michael Fay here at Maryfield Garden Center. And we're going to talk things, all things spring plants this morning. Good morning to you, Michael. Let's first morning, and foremost Taylor. talk about, you know, how you can, like, spruce up your landscape. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, now is a great time. We are right in this perfect transition period between... Uh, when our earliest spring ephemerals are almost finished blooming but are still hanging on because we've had such great temperatures and when our like mid to late spring bloomers are just starting to pop. So now's a great time and we've got all sorts of beautiful stuff that's popping all over the garden center. You've got native tiarellas, you've got uh, our native coral bells that are just getting ready to pop right now in the landscape. So there's all sorts of stuff to add to your landscaping. All right, and we have some bright colors. So these right here, what are, what are these? Are these Those are geraniums. Geraniums, yeah. yes, I noticed them. I just Great don't know all the names. Great vibrant color, absolutely. Anything else we should be thinking? So yes, I know you have to like plant accordingly with colors, but also the plant that does well when you plant it this time of year. You know, that's a great question. So there's a lot of different options. I mean, there are um, things like dicentra, the geraniums that you mentioned. Those are all really durable plants. The most important thing is that you're picking plants that are going to do well in the environment that you're trying to plant them in. Right. And, and that's where we come into play. We've got great support, all three of our stores for things like that. So most important thing is knowing where you're planting and what your objective is. And then you come in, visit us, and we're happy to help you. And you, yeah, you take care of the rest, right? Absolutely. Uh, what's the biggest thing that folks at home should think about uh, to have success this spring? Um, you know, I think just the confidence that they can be successful mm -hmm. is, is a huge step in the right direction. Uh, again, you know, knowing a little bit about what it is you hope to achieve and then knowing about the environment that you're trying to plant in, uh, we can set you up for success with all the rest. But, but just knowing that it's easy, we're here to have fun, we're, we're planting beautiful flowers in our garden, that, that's, that's the biggest part to me. Yeah, I think I always make the biggest mistake. I plant what's pretty and looks good, but not necessarily what's going to do well. So, right, yeah, exactly. I, I ended up killing a lot of plants, unfortunately. Uh, but you anyway. come see us. We'll help you out <laughs> exactly. with that. Exactly. Yeah. I might be doing that this weekend. All right, where can folks find you? You have several uh, locations throughout Northern Virginia, right? Sure. We've got our Falls Church store, which is the um, Maryfield store on Gallows Road. We've got our Fair Oaks location, which is where we are today. Uh, and then we have our Gainesville location that's out off of Balls Ford and Wellington Road. Awesome. Thank you so much, Michael. You'll be joining us later in the 11 o'clock as well. So Thank we're going to send it back to you in the studio for now. We'll see you in the next hour. We're outside right now on the Fox 5 Sky Deck. It is a little windy out here, uh, to say the very least. Will that impact your plants? Will it help with things in the grow cycle? I have no idea. But I do know that Taylor is out at Merrifield Garden Center right now, and she's given us a better idea as to perhaps how we can all make our thumbs just a little bit greener. Taylor? <laughs> I love that transition. Fortunately, it's not windy right here, but uh, it is certainly a muggy morning, and it's going to be a great stretch of weather after today to maybe get outside and get some spring planting done. So I know we uh, earlier we talked about some spring plants. You can get into the ground right now. And now I want to introduce you to Lindsay Bridgers here at Maryfield Garden Center. Now we've moved along to the container section. So, Lindsay, take it away. What are we talking about? What are we looking at right now? These are a collection of a few containers to get you inspired. So containers are fun because you can kind of do any creation that you want. You can have a little bit of annual color that's going to bloom all season long. And then you can have some perennials that provide you with a little bit of foliage. So in this example here, we have a mix of perennials. We have some hookera. We have some poppies, a little bit of creeping jenny. And then an annual here, some rex begonia. And then over here, these cute little guys are called columbine. And these are actually native to the Virginia area. Oh, I love native plants. Yes, they're fun. And, you know, once these stop blooming this yeah. spring, you can basically keep enjoying your container for the foliage. But when you're ready to move on, maybe put a little tropical foliage in there, you can disassemble it and plant it into the garden and down here we have a little bit of a native collection of some of our favorites for this area another hookera you can okay. see kind of the vast difference in color yeah. that you can get with them and then here we have just a combination of really bright beautiful pinks we have some snapdragons which are beloved and can be really great yes. to cut flower arrangements which you've probably seen and then a little spike, a caladium that really ties our whole color palette together with some bright pinks, some light pinks, some whites. That little bit of variegation kind of helps everything come together. 
So it's really fun. You can really do whatever you want. Come up with a style, something a little cottagey, something a little yeah. pop. And over here on the far side, we have a really pretty uh, shade inspiration container. So some hostas, ostrich fern, and the bleeding hearts. The bleeding which, hearts. You yes. Can't, you can't beat them. They're so charming. All right. <laughs> if uh, folks need some help with this, I mean, like, to assemble all this, yes. I probably need some help. Where can they find you? It's a great question. Um, we're at the Fairfax location today. We have three stores. We have a Maryfield store down by Gallows Road and off 29 across from Mosaic. We have the Fairfax location, and then we have a Gainesville store out off Wellington Road and Bob's Ford Road. All right. Thank yeah. you so much, Lindsay. You're welcome. We'll send it back to you for now. Taylor, thanks very much. Hey, what are the odds we have not one but two plant stories to talk about today when it comes to flowers? We are getting a lesson this morning in spring planting in this Fox 5 field trip, all brought to you by Maryfield Garden Center. Our Taylor Grunda is down in Fairfax, out at the center now, learning how to get that green thumb in time for peak spring. So, how's everything going out there, Taylor? It's been going great so far, and especially the weather's helping, of course. It's going to be a nice weekend to really feel the spring air and maybe you want to get some uh, spring plants in the ground. We've been touching about that all morning long. We talked about the spring plants, spring vegetables. Then we moved all along to containers, and now we're talking about just generally everything, which, mind you, Maryfield Garden Center is a full-service center. They do landscaping. They do, uh, you know, planting and everything uh, that we've been talking about all morning long. So I wanted to introduce you to now David Yost. Thank you for joining us this morning. And uh, we, we want to talk about, you know, a couple of things that you guys take care of here. You know, uh, a lot of people have uh, their grass, you know, their lawns on their mind. You know, hopefully most of you have at least gotten the first or the second cut in. But we're going to talk about how you can uh, take the necessary precautions to maybe fill in those blank spots that you might have on your grass from the winter season. And uh, how do you guys take care of that here? Yeah, well, thank you for the opportunity to talk to everybody. And you're right, spring fever is on and we got a great weekend forecast coming up. Uh, and everybody sees this. As you mentioned, your grass is greened up and growing. We're growing cool season grasses. I always say they're happy spaces, right, at 50 to 75 degrees with ample rain. So you want to take advantage of this spring season, like I said, just to manicure everything, keep it clean. If you do have those bare spots that you want to fill in, take advantage of the weather right now to fill them in and patch them up with uh, some seeding. We custom blend grass seed. Uh, for this Northern Virginia, D.C., Maryland area, we work with seed producers out in Oregon, specify varieties that do well in our local conditions, and we mix them in different blends, which could be for sun, shade, that type of thing. So, yeah, this is you, the thing I want to really emphasize is take advantage of this cool spring and get started on it if you haven't already done that. All right, so we have the grass. That's on the list for uh, this weekend. What other things should we be thinking about in the back of our minds that we should be getting yeah. done right now? Pretty much everything, like you said, whether it's your lawn, trees, shrubs, flowers, you know, vegetables we've been talking about, everything be planted now. Another thing, as you start to see your trees and shrubs beginning to leaf out, it's a very good time if you want to fertilize those. Again, so we do custom blend fertilizers also for our area. So if you have, again, evergreens, this could be anything from boxwoods and yews and hollies or trees like oaks and maples, it's a good time to fertilize those. We also have a fertilizer for flowering plant foods. But let me say, if you're growing plants like azaleas, rhododendrons that haven't flowered yet, we typically are going to fertilize those right after the bloom season. Okay. So they might be flowering for us now, and then as soon as that's done, they start growing and we'll put some flowering plant food on those. Okay, so we're thinking like in the next couple of weeks we'll probably be putting that on? Oh yes, like I said, if, if it's uh, cherry trees or things that have already finished flowering, we can do that now. Okay. But everybody has azaleas, that's a favorite plant around here, and azaleas, rhododendrons, like I said, they're going to bloom and then they'll start growing and we can fertilize those. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much, David. Uh, some great tips you can uh, take with you, especially this weekend. It's going to be so nice. Hopefully you can get everything spring all done around your house. So we'll send it back to you in the studio for now. With April being National Garden Month, we sent our Taylor Grinda to Fairfax Maryfield Garden Center to enhance her green thumbs. So take a look at this.
Well, it's officially spring and finally starting to feel like it's going to be a great weekend to maybe get some spring vegetables, herbs, whatever it may be, into the gardens and get them all prepared. So uh, right now I'm at Maryfield Garden Center, and I want to introduce you to right now uh, Michael Fay, who's going to talk us a little bit about some of the, the plants you can get into the ground for the upcoming spring season and looking ahead to the warmer weather months as well. So, Michael, take it away. Uh, what kind of spring plants can we get into the garden right now? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Taylor. Thank you so much for being here. Um, you know, now is a really great time where we're transitioning between our, our early, like, cool season veggies and the warm season veggies, which we're just starting to get in. Um, you can see we've got a whole lot of greens, you know, mustard greens, collards, kale, etc. Now's a great time to still be planting those. You're going to get really good production out of them still. We've had great cooler temperatures to kick off the spring. And then, of course, we've got, you know, our warm season vegetables just starting to arrive. We've got tomatoes peppers, squash, cucumbers, etc. Now is a great time to be thinking about planting those and really prepping the garden soil for that. And what specific uh, uh, garden vegetables will do well in the months ahead in the warm weather months? In the months coming, you know, you've got all sorts of options. I mean, now is a great time to be planting herbs still. Um, you know, we're just getting into that season where things are going to start to kick into high gear for vegetable growth. Um, you know, your tomatoes are really popular. Uh, Obviously, peppers, cucumbers, eggplants, squash, et cetera, all, all of those types of veggies are really going to do well in the warmer months. And is there anything, you know, right now that we need to specifically do to get our soil all ready for the upcoming months? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's a great question. So soil prep is always an imperative part of success when gardening. So now is the time when we would want to be cleaning out anything that we hadn't had time to do through the winter. You want to be augmenting your soil, adding soil conditioners. Um, if you mulch your garden, you want to be mulching your garden. But yeah, now's a great time to be thinking about soil prep and getting ready for the upcoming months. And anything to do moving forward to the plants that you plant now to take care of them throughout the next couple months? Yeah, so, um, you know, when you're planting, it's very important to make sure you're planting with a soil amendment at that time. So, um, you know, worm castings, um, you know, uh, organic matter as you're putting those vegetables in the ground, those are things to be thinking about. Even how you're treating the plants uh, at the time of planting, you know, making sure that you've got really good healthy starter plants um, and that you're watering sufficiently when they need that. Um, those are all very important things. All right, awesome. Thank you so much, Michael. Where can folks find you? Uh, you can find me at the Fair Oaks store, Maryfield Garden Center. We're out here in Fairfax. We do have three locations and experts at all three stores to be able to assist. All throughout Northern Virginia. Thank you so you much, it. Michael. We'll send it back to you Thank in the you. studio.